Welcome back to another Console Collector video. Hey everybody, Console Collector here. I'm back again with another GameCube set rebuilding video. Picked up a few more GameCube games along with some other really cool stuff. So let's just jump right into it. Hit up some thrift stores recently and picked up a few games. I found this for a dollar. ESPN Sports Connection for the Wii U. I opened it up and got the game as well as a loose disc of Nintendo Land. So for a dollar, why not? I also found from that same thrift store Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts complete copy. I know it's not a great game, but it was five bucks and I have a sealed copy I didn't want to open. So now I got a complete copy. I hit up my local game store, picked up a few things from there. Got some, or another PlayStation VR game. I got Battlezone for the VR. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I really like that VR game. I picked up the Final Fantasy 7 and 8 port or remastered for the Switch. Again, I had tons of trade credits, so I'm not actually paying these prices. I just um, always use my trade credit there. Here's a game that I've wanted for quite a while, which I just never seen anywhere, and they got a copy in at the local game store here, and it was Mohawk and Headphone Jack. So happy to get that one. And another game I've kind of been looking for, which I think I paid a little much, but I had trade credit, so I went with it anyway. Dead Space for the Wii. Rail Shooter. So, looking forward to trying that out. A local collector put some stuff up for sale, and I picked them up from him. I got a Super Minty Resident Evil The Essentials pack for... PS2. It's in beautiful shape. I had this before. I ended up trading it away. And uh, I kind of missed it, but yeah. And for those that don't know, it comes with Resident Evil 4, Outbreak, and Code Veronica. So, super cool. No, it's not GameCube, but I actually liked the Outbreak games back in the day. Alright, I went to... EB Electronics Boutique here. Picked up a couple things from there. Picked up Into the Dead 2 for the Switch. The one I was looking forward to trying out. And I picked up the Raven Remastered. I heard some good things about this game and I got it for nine bucks. So I'll take a shot at it. Some other stuff I got from a local collector. He had a couple of games here. First one I got was Lollipop Chainsaw for the Xbox 360. That was the same collector as the Resident Evil pack. Another guy posted some GameCube games. This is uh, the ones I picked up from him. Brace Yourself. Dave Mira, Freestyle BMX 2. My last video, people are asking if these are sealed. Actually, as soon as I get GameCube games, I am putting them in these protectors because my goal is to have the entire set in box protectors now. Because my last set, from pulling them in and out constantly, it would scratch up the cases and I want to protect them. So if you're wondering, I just bought 550 of these DVD game case protectors. Yeah, that wasn't cheap, but uh, I want to protect this GameCube set, so. They're in protectors. From the same guy, picked up Legends of Wrestling. Also decent shape, complete. And Naruto Clash of Ninja. So nothing too spectacular there, but he had those each for five bucks. So thought I'd pick them up. I went to a flea market and picked up some other games there. If 
for GameCube. Got Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights. This one was actually kind of tough for me to find last time, so I was surprised to see it there. It was 15 bucks. Um, you know, for how rare it is, I picked it up. Unfortunately, I'm starting to see that I'm not going to get every GameCube game for under ten dollars like I'd hoped. But uh, you know, you got to pay to play. This one cost me a bit, but I know it's kind of uncommon. One Piece Grand Battle. Got that from a seller at the same flea market, thirty bucks, which is kind of what it's going for. But it was there, so I just grabbed it. This one I was actually happy to see. Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. This is actually a really fun game too. Um, I was actually going to do it on a Hidden Gems GameCube video. Because you actually get to unlock the original arcade game. So maybe a future GameCube Hidden Gems video once I get the set again. But yeah, really happy to grab that. That was 20 bucks, which is not bad. I got a awful game. Bad Boys, Miami Takedown. This is five bucks. It sucks. And then finally for the GameCube of this video, got one of my favorite GameCube games, <clears throat> which I was super happy to see, Geist. This one I did feature in my GameCube Hidden Gems video. This seriously is one of my favorite GameCube games. Um, it's so much fun. I'm really happy to get it back. You basically possess people and objects and uh, just scare the crap out of people. It's a half first person shooter, but yeah, I love Geist and uh, super happy to grab that. I've seen it's going up in price lately all right final thing from the flea market I got I got the special edition of Street Fighter Cross Tekken for Xbox 360 the box is a little beat up here you can see it um, I actually took the game out it's over with my 360 um, unfortunately it did not come with the little arcade it was 20 bucks um, I wanted to really play it and it was the collector's edition so I got the game in the box at least for 20 bucks I tried it out it's actually not bad I really love some of these crossover fighting games so happy to nab that all right the rest of these games here I got new Best Buy was having a sale on their website so I picked up a few games from there I got a brand new sealed for PS Vita Street Fighter vs. Tekken for 40 bucks. I initially got this before I found the 360 version because I wanted to try Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Plus, I found out that this actually has a lot of more, or more features than the Xbox version. I know the PS3 version is also some bonus characters, so I'm trying to find that as well. But yeah, so got that sealed from Best Buy's website. I got this here. Injustice 2, speaking of fighting games, the Legendary Edition. When I found out that you get the Ninja Turtles in this game, along with some um, Mortal Kombat characters and Hellboy, I thought that was awesome. So I grabbed this, and it has all the DLC on the disc. So I was super happy to grab this. So, awesome. And I played this too, and it's a lot of fun, actually. Alright, um, the next three things I got from Amazon picked up B simulator my kids really wanted to try it out it looked interesting so grab that and then a game my youngest son was trying to um, or wanted to play was Minecraft story mode for the switch he was playing the Netflix version of this um, and really enjoyed it so I grabbed that for him finally I did some old game hunting at Walmart yeah first game I grabbed VR, you know I love the VR. Iron Man VR. My oldest son's been playing this. He's been having a blast. Um, actually, our internet went down last week with some of the weather changes around here, unfortunately. So that's why we haven't been online much. And my son um, usually talks to his friends and stuff on Discord. But yeah, we haven't had any internet. Just a quick little thing. So he's been busy playing Iron Man VR, actually, with the internet down. So he's having lots of fun with that. I haven't tried it yet. Um, next up, I picked this up for my wife actually. She asked about getting it. And yeah, we paid 35 bucks, but Aladdin and Lion King on the Switch. I actually said, you know, you could just play this on the original hardware. 
No. So she's not much of a retro gamer. So we picked this up for her so she could play on the Switch. And then the last two I got from Walmart myself, which it was kind of a, a smaller Walmart that's kind of not overly popular. And I actually was surprised to see these there, especially on sale. The Wonderful 101, which just came out, as well as Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection. So, yeah. Pick these two up. My Switch collection is seriously getting out of control, but um, yeah, I honestly, I think the Switch is Nintendo's best console in recent years. I think the GameCube was their last great console, followed by the Switch. I wasn't a huge fan of the Wii and the Wii U, so they're killing it with the Switch. The games are just phenomenal. All right, and that's it for the quick pickups. Definitely my favorite pickup of this round is going to be Geist getting that back and surprisingly mohawk and headphone jack this thing's eluded me for a long time so yeah really happy to grab these two games my favorites all right with that said let the gamecube hunting continue all right that's gonna wrap up today's video be sure to follow me on social media more information in the description below be sure to check out my other videos comment like subscribe and share I am the console collector, I want to thank everybody for watching, and until the next video, happy gaming.